Welcome to Tings Invest. We're talking about investing, finance, and professional development. That's the recording time of 5:31 p.m. on Eastern Time. It's them contracting three thousand eight hundred and seventeen dollars, up about one point three six percent so far. As you can see clearly on the over crypto market, we have revived a little bit from the obviously negative job report that came out today. Obviously,、um, you know, with the lack thereof job supply. And demand level, you know, making this historical record month of November last year,、um, obviously will drive some negative sentiments among investors selling across the entire market, not just crypto, but also with respect to obviously equity as well, right?、Um, and yesterday was a rock solid,、um, I'll say even a rock star day among the large cap tech stocks. As you saw yesterday, Tesla ran up by fifteen percent at one point, dragging the entire market to go up. So today's job report also gave people another reason to take profits, right? And as of this moment right now, you know, in a very prominently display、uh, perspective, you could see Ethereum is the only one that's green right now. And why is that the case? Right? Why is everybody screaming、um, that you know it's gonna crash? It's gonna crash? It's gonna crash?、Um, like, and I'm learning this from、um, you guys in the comment section, right? I don't really watch other people on YouTube,、um, especially not the scam messages. I just kind of do what I'm doing, right? Reading the charts, translated in technicals, and it seems like the formation is still in play. Right, it seems like the golden cross that we've been talking about for the last forty hours so far is still in play. Obviously, today we had some normalization from the negative job numbers report, but we are seeing that currently,、um, Ethereum and also Cardano as well, which is currently up about zero point zero four percent. But Ethereum is clearly up right now, one point four zero percent. Right, so we'll dive into the momentum in a bit. And let me just check the media front right now to see anything that's really worth mentioning. Um, I guess basically collectively, I would say the only one that's really kind of even worth mentioning is might might be like this Borb Eight MFT that just sold for three hundred eleven thousand dollars. Um, is the Borb Eight um three nine three oh nine? Um, okay, not sure what that is. You know, I mean, the what that number stands for. Uh, but it's like a monkey, you know, with、um, like a headdress,、uh, blue hair, and he's like wearing a mask on his face for some reason. Anyways, I mean that's like the only substantive news. This is not quite crazy. That's not even substantive at all. It's just more trivial, to be honest. What am I even saying?、Um, the other one that I see here is talking about with respect to Bazinga,、uh, crypto index. Launches in India, tracking the top ten cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, Doge, and Shiba Inu. So this is just a an index talk about obviously how is the popular、uh, coins trading collectively. I mean, it is what it is,、uh, but does it really tell you anything? It just tells you what's the entire market doing、um, with a mixture of both key coins and obviously altcoin. Um, but it is interesting that India, despite you know their legislation to ban cryptocurrencies trading,、uh, they have this crypto index, which is kind of counterintuitive, don't you think? And that's pretty much it on the news front. So no need to really dive into any more news further. Again, these news are relatively just like backwash,、um, trivial news with lack of substance. It's just mostly just、um, NFT related news,、um, and obviously. News that are, I guess, can you even call it clickbait type of news? I don't know, but these are relatively reputable media companies, so it is what it is.、Uh, no bias, I'm just reading what I'm seeing, right? And respect the recording time again of five thirty-five p.m. on the Eastern Time. Ethereum contract three thousand eight hundred nineteen dollars, up about one point four one percent so far. As you know, from、uh, had a relatively rough day today.、Um, you know from. Obviously, I don't have to, you know, explain again what happened. You saw my previous postings, but I just had a rough work day as well. Just a lot of,、um, you know, politics and,、uh, you know, human dynamics problem、um, that I'm just trying to sort through. I'm a little bit exhausted.、Um, also, I didn't tell you guys、uh, around lunchtime. I actually got my booster today.
Um, not sure. I'm just having that type of, um, I guess, placebo effects. I don't know. Uh, but um, I, I did talk to the guy that was, he, he gave me the shot. He was like, oh, if this is your third shot, you should be okay. Because typically people with the third shot don't really feel anything because of their immunity they've built up over time. But uh, for me, I guess I'm just having a stressful day. Uh, also a long day today. Um, so sorry about going off tangent again. So with respect to Ethereum, currently we are in the golden cross. You can see that we're about to form that cross section. We're at the 45 of 70, so still neutral. And as we form that golden cross, we're going to go back up to basically right now, uh, breaking that 3,843, and this will allow us to continue to leap up. We can see that clearly we broke that today because of the fact that um, it was before the job report came out, right? Uh, but obviously, you know, as we got there, we subsequently sold down, but it's still st with stay within the logical frame of levels that we have to identify, right? So right now, this is still bullish. Like, I mean, it is, it is doing it in front of us enough, in front of our eyes right now. Um, so again, I'm not a wizard. I'm not making things up. This is just what the technicals is uh, telling us. So, uh, and if you've been re watching my video for months now, you know that, you know, I'm never really a wizard. It's just that the technicals are aligning on these levels. And that's why they triangulate to be the way they are, right? And with respect to Bitcoin, um, anywhere from like 45,700 to below would be a good level. Right now, it's still okay, actually. We like, you know, obviously $700, $600 away from the bottom, technically, when we were at the 37 out of 70. But right now, we're still in the okay level, like 39 out of 70, so it's not terrible, right? So I think Bitcoin, if you really want to be incurring some risk for long term, it's fair, I would say. Dogecoin right now is uh, 1693 uh, 41 out of 70, anywhere from the 16 to below will still be a good level. Um, I think right now it's not terrible again, but not the best either. It's not the optimal level. It's just an okay level. So if you really believe in Dogecoin and you really have to buy today, yeah, go ahead. You know, I'm one of those really conservative individuals that I have to be, um, you know, I have to feel comfortable um, that my technical and my quantitative analysis um, are aligned, right? And I'm one of those uh, relatively stubborn individual, I guess, that um, when I'm not completely there, it's no go. So that's why I'm so uh, meticulous with my quantitative analysis. It's just my character. I'm just very conservative. In respect to Cardano, it's currently flat again, uh, anywhere from current level to 120 is still better level for us. Solana is at 168, right? Again, 155 to below is still better level for us. 155, 133, 113. XRP anywhere from current level to 78 cents is still better level for us. Polkadot is down about 4% right now. Anywhere from basically 26 to below is still better level for us with the 50. So this is not a good level to incur risk yet. Algorand is down about 6%. Uh, whatever goes up really, really fast comes down just as fast. And we are going to be in for a negative one. I think the Death cross that we're about to form is going to be relatively negative. We are obviously at the 53 out of 70, so very overbought still. Shiba Inu one down about one percent, uh, anywhere from 29.50 to below is still better level for us. MacTag is down about 1.75%, 175 to below is still better for us. In respect to AVAX, down about uh, 3.17%, uh, anywhere from again right 70. Um, wait, hold on. Yep, $80 to $60 is still a better level for us. And I think we have a real shot of actually going back down uh, to at least 87 as we crack 90. But obviously the 100 is going to be the first one, right? But 100 is not really substantive. You could see clearly was how weak the levels were. So yeah, 80 to 60 is still a better level for us. Luna. Um, Luna is going to be in for a negative one. We are forming a, a clear head and shoulder. Head, shoulder, shoulder. That means we're going to be selling off. We got 55, 70, so it's going to sell off. Um, it's going to come back to 62, 52, and 45 from here. And uh, Enron, 240. I wouldn't buy Enron right now, but it's again, right? For me, I'm really meticulous. I would say anywhere from the 235 below is still better level for us. Right now, it's okay, right? It's still like, like okay at the 43 out of 70. So... Obviously not as good as previous Saturdays, right? Two Saturdays ago, consecutively, we have those like negative black swan news that came out that crashed us to 
more than next comfort level, right? So those were obviously the days to buy. I respect to risk management, these are the final levels that I've identified so far. And let me know if you have any questions. Obviously, for my Patreon members, you guys got it way long ago already. And I have um, basically updated like close to 35 of crypto right now. Uh, close to 30 equity now. So thank you so much for all the new additions. So that's it for today. I'm really exhausted now. I think it's from the vaccine. I hope it's not the vaccine. I'm probably just going to go to sleep earlier today. But I have not eaten a lot either today. So you know me. I'm one of those people that just forget to eat sometimes. Um, but appreciate you. Uh, let me know how it goes. And take care.